three days notice against a high level local fighter, which I mean, hats off to the guy for that, for, the, for that kind of confidence to take a final, such short notice against a high level fighter. Two good, good fighters. Lazone ain't no as a professional. I, I believe he's 10 and two overall. And, and Masvidal at five and one with his only loss coming a couple weeks ago on a fight card in Georgia in a highly controversial loss. You know, the fight's currently under protest. Really, decision, Dan? Decision yeah, it was, it, was, it was a decision that supposedly most of the people in the audience thought he dominated the fight, as did as did he in his corner. And, and I, I know they've they filed an appeal with the commission up there in Atlanta. Lazan looking for a Kimura here. Lazan has very, very slick jiu-jitsu. I'm still thinking about how young this guy looks, how young they both look. Man, like I said, Lazan's 20 years old, and as is, as is Masvidal. They look like they got in trouble in high school and should be set on this in the parking lot. <laughs> well, funny that you say that. That's actually how Masvidal got into professional fighting. He says he was getting into a lot of trouble for fighting guys in the street and heard that he could he could do it legally and actually get paid to do so. So so he found the Freestyle Fighting Academy down in Miami. He's been training for, I believe, two years down there. Lazone's only been training for three and a half years in his own right. So two young guys, which is which is fairly amazing to see guys that young. Nice takedown by Masvidal on, on the main event of a show. Masvidal looking for the Kimura. No, Lazan looking for the Kimura. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think uh, Masvidal seems to be the stronger of the two, but... And, and I believe... I heard a lot of good things about uh, Lazan. Oh! He's out! He's out! Oh, no, he's not out. Replace this position. Oh, you know what? He's going to get a warning for slamming on the what? head. I believe he's going to get a warning for dropping his opponent flat on the head. I think Lazone would be very, very smart to ask for a break here because I believe he was out for a moment. He, he still looks a little dazed. I think he's still a little, I think, little no, dazed. I have I never think, seen that call in a fight before. And fairness to the ref, he dropped him right on his head, not intentionally, but he landed straight on he, his head, and that is against the rules. Well, let's see if Masvidal can capitalize now. I'll tell you what. I think, I think Lazone was out. I think he woke right back up and didn't even ask for a restart. It's reminiscent of Suli Evan Baroni when he was crushed with that Absolutely. knee. Absolutely. And when the ref asked him if he needed some time, he was like, hell no, let me at that guy. And came right back and knocked him out. Lazone said, no, he's ready. Came right back, shot for a takedown. Wow. Lazone looking to pass the guard of Masvidal here. Masvidal showing a little bit of a guard skill here. Masvidal's yeah. got good jujitsu. He's, he's very well. He's a very well-rounded fighter. I'm also impressed by his stand-up. He throws nice, sharp, crisp punches. I would think that he'd want to keep this fight on his feet. I would think so too. He's, I, I think he certainly has the edge in the standing game. I give Lazone a slight edge on the ground game, but Masvidal absolutely is, is well versed. Yeah, I, I don't give a lot of guys credit for their stand-up game, but Masvidal is one guy who I think throws nice, sharp punches. Wow, curious guard pass attempt by Lazone there. Yeah, he stepped right over the leg. Masvidal comes here, I'm sorry, Lazone comes here with a mass destruction and combat zone light heavy, lightweight titles. So he's been in some main event fights before. So it's like looking for a footlock. Good defense by Masvidal. Freestyle fighting academy is pretty well known for their footlocks. Oh, good right hand by Lazone. I think this is the fight we all expected. Wow. Lazone looking for the takedown. Good single leg shot from Lazone. Very quick because he did that from a distance. And he's going to return the favor on the big takedown. Oh. Nope. Masvidal <laughs> says nothing, baby. Almost looking for a sidewalk slam a la the big boss man of WWE history. Wow, Masvidal unloading. Tell you what, it's hey. fortunate for Lazone he's in those ropes. Yeah, his, a couple of the bigger shots got blocked through the ropes. Go, go, go. Oh, Lazone sits up and lands a left hand to Masvidal. If I was Masvidal, I'd just stand this up. I tell you what, though, for a 12-year-old kid, Lazan is one tough son of a bitch. I'll tell you what, for somebody who took a fight on five days' notice, the main event against a tough local fighter, gets dropped on his head and was either close to get knocked out or was knocked out momentarily, to come back and not even ask for a break and just come right back to war. This kid is a tough son of a bitch at any age. No kidding. I'm thinking about adopting him. I thought you had me, man. Hey, man. You show up that late to the fight to commentate. I'm not sure I want to. Oh, nice, oh, nice reversal oh. by Lazone. Nice. Oh, and look, and look at Masvidal going right to the footlock. As I said before, the footlocks are a staple of a, a freestyle fight in the academy. Lazone responds by looking for a hill for Wow. Zone and needs some big right hands. To... Come on, 
again, I think that's in those little exchanges. I think the strength of Miles Rudolph is really what's what's determining you know him coming out on top of those exchanges. I agree. He does seem to be the stronger of the two. I'll tell you what, I believe that to be the case. The zone actually told me yesterday when he was talking about his size and his strength. He says, you know something, I'm not full grown yet. I'm getting bigger think, and stronger think, every day. And I've always thought that Masvidal was actually small to be 155. I still think that, but in this case, he's actually the bigger, stronger fighter. Well, well the zone actually fights at 145. That's his preferred weight. That's the weight that he's best at. He thinks that he may grow into a 155-pound uh, division as he gets bigger, as he gets older. But again, he took this fight on five days' notice and, and took the fight a weight up, not, you know, not even to mention that. So, well, He's certainly come to fight. My hat is off to this kid. He's looking a little tired in the corner, but I think he's still going to come out and be ready to fight regardless. Oh, I don't think he has any quit in him. Masvidal's corner telling him on that Seconds shot, out. step back and under, Seconds uppercut. Out. Coming up, round number two. Man, I'm looking forward to this round. I'm looking forward to it too. I'm actually kind of sweating because these guys in my division. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Run to Japan, dude. I, well, if I had better management. <laughs> Masvidal with a nice crisp jab there. Yeah, Lazone coming back with some weak punches. But you know, all he's looking to do is close the distance there. Miles without smiling at him. Let's go, you first, you first. You first. Yeah, yeah. Oh. jumps right to guard, thinking about a footlock. I got to tell you, I'm digging Masvidal's do. I wonder who did that. I don't know, Dean. I don't know, but for $5 a braid, you know, he, how much he looking at? <laughs> I know this is going to come off sounding pretty goofy on, on the DVD, but I'm digging Lazone's balls in this fight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, I can't get over this kid taking this fight on this shorter notice against a guy this tough and getting through that first round and fighting like he fought and not asking for a couple of seconds to regain his bearings after that huge takedown, which the ref deemed to be illegal. Let me tell you something, Dan. Nothing would surprise us about you envying the guy's balls. Look down here, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I figured I was going to get into trouble. On that. Yeah, you yeah. know it. You knew it. Masvidal needs to just stand this back up, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know why he, don't, he doesn't want to um, keep it on his feet. Uh, it, maybe he does, but he's not really showing it. The zone seems to be thinking about that same little reversal he had from, from the Kimura. Masvidal's corner certainly should be telling him to stand this thing up. Oh, good right hand from Masvidal. But there's something Masvidal feels on the ground that, you know, you know I think he doesn't really, you know, I don't think he feels the, the strength of, of Lazao on the and floor. He just doesn't respect him. And he seems to have a big reach advantage, which he's taken advantage of by throwing the punches from the guard. Lazon thought about a triangle there earlier. That's it. Masvidal with a big right. That's it. Keep that. Stay there. Masvidal looks a little bit like Miguel Cotto in his last fight, if anybody's seen that one. Guess not. No, 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 Dean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, Dean. Yeah. Good analogy, Dean. I'm going to have to play. Way to go. Glad I'll you jumped in with us. I'll plead ignorance on that one. <laughs> you know how Dean is. He likes to make those little obscure references to show how, you know, the how depth of knowledge. Yeah, with exactly. some show the depth of knowledge he has. <laughs> All right, Lazone securing that right arm. Masvidal finally getting it out. The action's slowing down here. I agree with you guys. I think Masvidal is thinking about just getting up. I'm really surprised the Avalon brothers have not stood him up here. I'm, I'm surprised the ref hasn't thought about it. Oh, here Masvidal goes, right? As we well, say, that throwing some heavy punches that landed But you know, he's, he's landing in punches, but I don't think he's going to be able to do the damage as he would as if he was on his feet with them punches. I agree. Body shots. That was nice. Keep it, keep it, keep it going, keep it going. All right, overwhelming Lazone right now with punches. Man, good, good fight. Action has slowed down in the second round, but this is another exciting fight. Big shot from Matt. Masvidal, very aggressive with his punches. And Lazon falls up. Throwing wild punches. Lazon looked for a second like he was going to turn to his stomach. 
I think the ref's going to stop this fight. I, 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 too. Here it is. It's over. And that's a good stoppage. That's a good stoppage. I agree. Big win for Masvidal, bouncing back from a controversial decision. It's time for Masvidal to step up, I think. I think, I, you know, I, I think he just did. I think he did, too. Wow. Very, very nice fight. Good fight. Hats off to Lozon. I'll say it one more time. Hats off to Lozon. Yeah, he fought a very, very tough fight. Yeah, I think he was just a little, a little outsized in this match. You know, the strength, I think, was the really the, the determining factor for this one. Yeah, and I'll mention again that he typically fights at, at 145 pounds. Yeah. It's preferred weight. Masvidal looks good. Not tired in the least. Aggressive. Good, strong punching, finishing finishing a tough, tough fight. I, I agree. I, th I think uh, Masvidal's looking for a title shot. I agree. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for both fighters, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a referee, Troy Waugh, calls a halt to this bout at 3 minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, Jorge Masvidal. Ladies and gentlemen, the Absolute Fighting Championship has been brought to you.